Okay, guess they do one just fine. Said I'm not yours, so I see you're not mine. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monsters video. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the survival dungeon. So apparently, um, I actually completed almost halfway there. Uh, take a look at this. So I completed it up to whatever this is. I think it's probably like 68%. Yeah, 68%. Okay. So I complete 68% uh, of it. Apparently, I have like two more to go. Well, two big bases to go. It's at like almost 10, I guess. 10 or 11 nodes away to actually finishing this off. I was actually kind of upset. I got upset, right? Because I was in a battle. And then um, it actually told me to reload my game and i thought i lost my monsters because i was actually using siberial uh Santerion and timer especially siberial though i don't want her to go right so i was like oh no since this is a survival dungeon did, it, did i actually lose it but I, I didn't so that's the good thing um yeah that's that's nice but anyways guys before we get started if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that red subscribe button also drop a like um and turn on post notifications as well there's also a breeding event that we're gonna go ahead and review in a second and more much more okay so um let me give you guys a tip by the way for the survival dungeon if you did get the key um this actually applies to all the survival dungeons how i actually completed this is that um in the beginning what i did i used rare monsters again legendaries and actually i won even though their runes sucked i didn't have runes at all most most mostly actually i made it up to like somewhere back here and then i started using epics and i made it up to here and then from epics i kept using it up to like over here or something and then i started using my best legendary monsters to finish it off i do have so much more legendary monsters right now um to use from but uh i'm just gonna go ahead and use these because why not hey why not <laughs> let's go and apply that so what i'm gonna do another tip is that um once you're close to beating somebody um or finishing right it's like the last monster and it's your monsters against them what you can do is recharge for the next battle you have to recharge so you have stamina for next battle and then finish it off just like that and now my timerian has stamina and siberial actually has uh, a couple of stamina as well uh or a lot of stamina for next battle so that'll be very good what the heck? Why is Timerion's arm like that? I just noticed that. Is it, is it supposed to be like that? What the heck? Wait, why is Timerion's arm like that? Was it always like that? Like, you guys see that part right there? What the heck? That looks so weird. I don't even want to see it now. What the heck is wrong with his arm? That's so weird. Alright, well, let's go ahead and finish it off. Um, of course, I'm gonna go ahead and use cooldowns, right? Charge up so I get some stamina for next battle. Just like that. EA is gonna recharge, of course. And then finish it off just like that. It's super duper easy, honestly. Super duper easy. So, the sad part is that, um, I did... Of course, I get the 20 cells, right? I got the 20 cells from the breeding. The successful breeding event. Uh, for the, for the event, right? I, I only got 20 cells and I got the key. But, the thing is... I'm not gonna have enough to craft this mythic, unfortunately. In total, if I finish this whole thing off, which I will for sure, um, I'm gonna have up to 70 cells. So I'm missing out 30 cells. You can't request um, this monster's cells at all, unfortunately. And uh, you can't use elementiums or elementals at all, which sucks, actually. I really hate it. I really hate that, honestly. But once you get up to like somewhere back here, just go ahead and use your legendaries, your mythics. If you have Siberial, it's going to be amazing. Seriously, it's going to be super duper easy. Just look, take a look at this. I'm going to make him weak. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, I'll just use that then. And then what I do is apply cooldowns activated. So that, yeah, Timerion is actually very useful against, um, against this. So use that. Oh, actually I'm going to charge up so I get some stamina. Also use the special or ultimate skill just like that finish it off super duper easy um by the way for the new breeding events i honestly don't really like it i don't know if it's just me i think it it sucks it really does i'm just doing it to get my mace coins um they actually give you 75 mace coins um although it's not going to be a successful breeding but if it is a successful breeding you get 250 so in this breeding event um some monsters like sparking mantis uh in t in t under or a Tiander, whatever his name is. Um, Shork is available, Kehaku is also available, Polaris C, Inipiest, or whatever. 
Harold and Tilly or oh my god these monsters have some weird names but yeah those ones are actually available to breed and honestly I was actually expecting more from this breeding event but I mean it is called the collector's breeding events right so it's if you want to get them for your collection that's cool by the way I did actually um hatch my or craft finish crafted my war master Ragnarok so I'm gonna get that soon uh, war attack is there as well and so is my race monster I'm finally actually hatching her or him whatever um, I did a level 1 to 130 I believe or 140 on that monster if you guys want to go in and watch that video and also I did manage to craft Erder finally I will definitely do a video hopefully I have three rune slots open or at least two that'll be amazing um, I'll have to see how I do on this I still have three days I'm gonna try to see if I could unlock her and get as many cells as I can maybe get her to rank um, one or so depends on how good she is uh, that's gonna be, going to be like level 110 I believe right yo but I low-key want to finish off this dungeon for the video so let's do this okay I did get actually I did get some stamina points which is good um, this should be very easy we're going up against Beller, Carlo and Talica this shouldn't be that bad honestly we'll have to see how this goes okay Alright, perfect system, finish off the attacker and uh, supporter. Uh, the tank is still alive. What I can do is apply cooldowns for now. And then charge up real quick, just like this. Charge up again to get some stamina. Charge up again. And finally, sort of finish it off, not really. We'll just do that for now. Let's do that. Um, nanovirus should do at least, like, maybe, if I'm guessing correctly, like 10,000 damage. So what I can do is try to make it, make him a little weak. Okay, I think that should be good. Oh, 2,000 HP. All right, well, we were close. And it doesn't matter, honestly. It doesn't really matter. It's going to just charge up and stuff. Uh, let, let me put it on 4x speed. And there we go, just finish it off just like that. Easy. Easy peasy. All right, by the way, the, the, these wheels aren't really too good. Um, it, they just give you gold. That's, that's literally all they give you, which sucks. Um, I don't really like it. Oh, wait, I want to see if it maybe changed or something from gold to something else. But it's whatever. It's not even going to load. Uh, we had three elementiums before the 20 cells. So let's go ahead and finish this off. This should be an easy battle as well. Finish off the denier. And then apply cooldowns. They're going to have to charge up just like that. Charge it up. Use games. Charge up again. Use games again. Reverse healing, oof. Use this. Um, make him weak to metal, how's that? Charge up, and do games again. And he just died. <laughs> GG's. Alright, awesome. Well, I do want to see what this last one's going to be like against Erder. So this last battle gives you, of course, 20 cells. But let's see who else is here. Oh, there's Rabuka. Interesting. Didn't he have a storyline with Rabuka actually? That's cool. All right, well, um, nice. Let's let's see how this goes. I hope, I hope this battle goes well and I could get it. Um, Rabuka has insane amount of speed. Yeah, he's gonna go first. Oh wow. Let's see what he's gonna do. Sunburn, and I think total blind as well. I'm not sure. Um, cool. Alright, in that case, let me charge up. I want to see what he actually does. Like, what's his worst thing? Like, what's the worst he can do? Poison does some damage. Let's use space time here. Okay. And let's do, let's go ahead and charge up. See what, what else he actually has for us. That was going to do some damage, but I do have space time. That's why. Um, let's just finish it off, actually. <laughs> Should I heal him? <laughs> I'm gonna heal him real quick. A little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's go on in. Alright. Imagine he just takes out my attacker. Hey, let's go. Alright, let's see if the spin wheel is something different this time. Is it gonna... No? No? Okay. It's probably gonna be gold anyway, so... Alright, we got the 20 cells and we finished off the dungeon, guys. So, um, I give you guys some tips about how to actually finish this off. Like I said in the beginning, use your worst monsters and then keep on going uh, and going and going and then use your best ones and stuff like that to end it off. Um, 
There's Easy Jump Dungeon, which I'm gonna do later. But I did finish Quest Stage Dungeon and this one as well. And um, now I have about 70 cells, I believe. So let me go ahead and show you guys this. Uh, 70 cells, there it is. I need about um, like 30 more to actually craft it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it. There is actually a chest right now that gives you um, 50 cells or so. Uh, it costs about ten dollars. So, oof. I kind of want to get that, but it's whatever, honestly. Um, I don't know if the this quest monster uh, slash mythic is too good, honestly. But um, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash the like button, also subscribe, and um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.